Stargate is a project we started thinking about back in 2019. We had this idea of creating a game that was truly linked to characters and narrative design, but a true strategy experience. We thought that Stargate was a perfect property to attach this type of experience, where there's a lot of focus on characters and story, but also on specific military actions that are carried forward in the game. Working on this project for us is something that's almost entirely new because it's the first time we do a, we make a game that's self-contained, a narrative experience that you play from start to finish. It has no skirmish element or anything else like that. Thanks to extensive Stargate universe, we are able to visit multiple different biomes throughout the game. Story will take us to many places. For example, we will visit jungle temples, underground Jaffa bases, or even capital Goa'uld ships. One of the most important things designing this type of the game is to make the puzzles really interesting. The key factor of this puzzle is, first, timings, skills you can use to eliminate the enemies, and third, your imagination. Different environments usually have a different set of possibilities in them. Uh, in more industrial place, we can use a lot of machines in order to, I don't know, execute enemy, maybe clear the path for our, ourselves. Our idea is to create a new whole story without losing the genuineness of the original TV series. We would like to give Stargate's passionate community a new storyline which can give them the same vibes of the original show. In order to be consistent, to keep the authenticity of the original series, every aspect of the game is approved and verified by MGM. Target Timekeepers is not only a slittering product, but is a four-handed project between us and MGM. One of the most important parts for us is not only to give Stargate's community a great game, but is to bring also the Stargate's world to all the passionate of strategy video games. There were two reasons we wanted to make a Stargate game. The first is the IP itself. Stargate is a very well-loved franchise that we all remember fondly from its time on TV, and there hasn't been very much done with the IP in a number of years. Secondly, we wanted to make a game that allowed us to tell a story. The Battle of Antarctica is one of the most iconic episodes in the Stargate TV series. It's a very well-remembered moment in the series. We felt it was an ideal starting point for our story because it provides continuity. We have new and original characters in our game. It's impossible to play the game and only control one character. You'll be able to solve very few problems merely controlling one character. You will need to take two or three characters on any given level uh, through your adventure. Uh, timing and interplay between them is absolutely critical. First up is Eva, who is the head of the team. Eva's skills are based on her experience. For example, she is able to distract enemies with bullet casings and also able to spot out weaknesses with her binoculars that assist her other team members in taking out people they might not have been able to without her. And the character's personality and skills came as part of the game. We knew from the beginning that this was going to be some kind of stealth game, so we were never going to have someone coming out and just like across the screen and killing everyone. It's easy to say that everyone in this group is a rogue of some kind, because they are stealthy and, and sneak attacks, and, but that doesn't always mean that they're killing people. Sam, for example, is our spy and he can steal appearances. A lot of our skills are designed to the environment. They interact specifically on different maps. All of our characters, when we came up with them, kind of inspired their own skills and their own characters and back and forth, vice versa. Each of our 14 narrative-focused missions brings something new to the table in terms of characters and skills and elements to the story, and I'm excited to see you explore them. When you start out the story, we don't have every character on the cast because not all of them are with Stargate as we mentioned. You get to learn and know more about them as we go. 